Oh no! <laughs> I just recorded the entire tutorial with my stupid face in the middle of the screen. No, oh, no, I give up. Am I gonna do it again? Oh, let me just do it again because I love my I love my people, them. I love them. But yeah, it's your girl intro doing another tutorial, this, this, and that, doing a Chrome text tutorial. I did one in Cinema 4D, but if you don't have P like me, then we're gonna do it for free in Blender EV. Done. got bars i've got serious bars firstly make your face small and we're gonna go ahead and open up a new blender scene <sighs> i don't think i'm ever gonna financially recover from this right hit a hit x and delete everything in your scene press shift a and add some text yes I said some good jokes in that tutorial as well, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to unnaturally regurgitate my jokes again. What is this? This is so rude. Right, rotate it by 90 degrees, hit tab, and write whatever you want. Unoriginal, this is the only thing I know how to write or spell. I can't read or write, this is it. <laughs> this is what you're gonna get. Hit this A down here and um, Oh yeah, geometry. In geometry, we're gonna extrude this. In font, we're gonna change your font. I'm gonna use Art Dystopia. Copy that and paste another one just behind it. <coughs> Although I'm gonna take this front one and make it a little bit smaller. Gonna extrude it a little bit less. And this back one does need to be extruded that much. It's not that serious. Never, ever, ever that serious. So we're gonna make this back internet go a little chunkier. I need to actually just go to bed. Right, so we're gonna increase the depth a bit and the resolution as well. Yeah, and bring it forward just so we see the front of our text. And with this front text, we're just gonna bevel it once. So yeah, let's look in 30. I was just about to go to bed, you know, like. <laughs> Right, so we're going to create some new materials for this. Go into material, create this one front and the back one. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. And this bit, this back text, we're going to set the base color all the way to black, metallic all the way up, specular, pretty high, and roughness off. Front is going to be, leave it as white. Bring metallic all the way up, specular up, roughness down. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Now I think we should start adding some color and seeing what this actually looks like. So with Z hell, we're gonna go into rendered view. Look, rendered view. So open up another window here. We're in Blender and things are a little bit more complicated. So open up node editor. Just some simple nodes. Where is node editor? My eyes are like, let me put my glasses. Oh yes, right. Where is node editor? Seriously, where is it? <laughs> so under object, going to go to world and going to put shift A and put environment texture. We're gonna add another background. Ooh, where she go? We're gonna add a mix shader, and we're gonna add a, is light. Actually, sorry, it's called light something. Yeah, light path. Ooh, bring that up there. So the way we're gonna connect these bad boys is we're gonna put mix shader in the middle of that. Connect background to shader. Connect color to color, and then take this top one is camera ray and connect that to factor. So now you will notice that um, we can change the color here. I'm gonna bring it all the way down to black because that's what I'm gonna use. You can change it to whatever color you want to. And I'm gonna open a HDRI that I made for my last tutorial. I'll set that here. When you're done making that, 
I've got a nifty HDRI fold and I'm going to bring out my HDRI. Fantastic. So now we've got something that looks like something. And I'm gonna go to render settings here for Eevee. And turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections. Now we're gonna open bloom. I'm gonna bring the threshold down. Boom. It's starting to it's starting to glow. Bring the knee up, I think. Yeah, just play around with these to see what what you like. Definitely less settings than Octane. Now, if you want the HDRI to look a little bit different to what you have here, we're gonna go back into the node editor and we're going to add vector. No, 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 no. We're gonna add um, mapping gonna plug vector into vector and we're gonna add texture coordinate oh why don't we do that and plug generated into the vector cool so now we can actually rotate our hdri i'm just gonna go into this black material and bring metallic down a little bit sorry i didn't mean to do that earlier Bring specular up a bit so the black does reflect a little bit so I've just thought about another cool thing we can do which is actually keyframing the HDRI to move around so we get some cool lights or whatever so keep this window kind of small for now <clears throat> and we're gonna hit shift a and insert a camera and press zero on your numpad if you don't have a numpad. I only judge the people that have the financial freedom to get a numpad keyboard and they've decided not to spend their money that way because that is a silly move. Enough of that. Um, in view, we're gonna lock camera to view and then we can just adjust our camera to however we like it. While we've got the camera open, also change this to 80 or something a little bit wider so we can kind of get a bigger scope. She's looking cheeky. Sick. And now for the final touches, I'm going to keyframe the location of my HDRI. Basically, you just press I while hovering over these. And so once you've inserted your keyframes at the beginning, move along to someone at the end of your frame. Go ahead and change your HDRI as much or as little as you like. Yeah, whatever. I'll just insert those keyframes there by pressing I while hovering. And now you have an animation. Isn't that cool? Huh? Isn't that cool? So you can export this animation however you want. Ooh, I do be liking that though. I do be liking that yeah that's really all there is to it so go to render settings i'm in a good mood now actually i didn't initially do this in the tutorial but i thought you know what since i'm here i might as well throw in an extra little like you know pearl of wisdom or whatnot right go to your render render settings here and change your folder and create a new folder when i render out cycles animations i'll always do them frame by frame and then put them together at the end just in case it crashes but this is eevee like so if your computer can handle it and you're sure she can handle it then go ahead and just render it out as a video file i'm gonna put ff and blah, 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 video go to h yeah i'm gonna put perceptually lossless i'm gonna make sure it's frame 0 to 250 24 frames per second and when you're ready hit render animation this will be done in like 10 minutes maybe less so it's done see it say it's sorted let's let's look at what we're dealing with here all right and there you go like that's a simple cool animation that you can do it's not too hard I redid the tutorial but it ended up being exponentially better than my last one. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Enjoy your day, stay safe. And um yeah, yeah, that's yeah. No, nothing yeah, that's it. Yeah, bye.